Yelp says it's seen a huge increase in people searching for LGBTQ plus owned businesses. And just in time for Pride Month, Yelp has launched a new attribute businesses can use to identify as LGBTQ plus owned. Yelp's senior community manager for Austin, Katie Burbank, joins us now to talk about that and more. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So tell us more about this attribute on Yelp. How does it work and why did Yelp feel this was so important to have? So in April, we saw a 150% increase in uh, searches for LGBTQ owned businesses. So we thought, why not make it easier for consumers to be able to discover these businesses that they're looking for and what better month to kick that off uh, than Pride. I know we celebrate Pride here in Austin in August, but obviously the rest of the US celebrates it in June. So it was the perfect time to do so. And so not only can consumers find businesses that they're looking for that identify, self-identify as LGBTQ owned, Owned, but businesses can go and log on to their Yelp page and mark themselves as such. Um, this is free and we definitely encourage businesses to go on and mark themselves as LGBTQ owned if they uh, feel comfortable doing so, so that consumers can find them much more easily. And uh, right now you see some highlighted businesses that identify this way. The barbecue, it is Texas, we love our brisket. Um, these ladies are doing fantastic things and they just moved into their new location on the east side. So big be sure to check it out. They also um, have phenomenal bathrooms, which I know is a funny thing to say, but make sure you, if you're popping in, uh, don't leave without seeing the bathrooms. And then we have, if you're a sushi fan, uh, Fukumoto, uh, Kazu and his husband have been together for 20 plus years, which he likes to remind me that's a lot of sushi dinners. They also specialize in yakitori and um, bento boxes to go. And then we have the guys over at Lick Honest Ice Creams. They have scoop shops sprinkled all over Austin and San Antonio, and they get all of their ingredients locally sourced. Most of them I learned um, by doing a virtual bingo event with them last year around Pride um, that are uh, you know, women-owned farms and women-owned operations. So um, a lot of great places in Austin that you can go celebrate Pride um, and celebrate these LGBTQ-owned businesses. Katie, I'm hungry just looking at those photos. <laughs> How many businesses are participating? So we don't have an, um, it's an ongoing operation, I should say. So uh, not only can businesses mark themselves as LGBTQ owned, but we also have an open for all attribute. So those allied businesses out there can mark themselves as such. And uh, what's fun for the month of June and in conjunction with Pride is that we actually have rainbow colored pins. And so if you search LGBTQ owned on a desktop or your Yelp app, there is a fun little map with rainbow colored pins. And so that uh, easily marks the these fantastic businesses that identify this way, as well as allied businesses that have marked themselves open to all. Well, this is fantastic. Well, now that more people are heading back out to eat, what kind of trends, if any, are you seeing here in Central Texas? So I have definitely been out and patronizing these local businesses and obviously, you know, contactless is very trendy. Uh, everything from QR codes to, you know, a cute little kind of doorstop on the bottom of the door so you can open the door with your foot versus, you know, all of the germs from your hands. And then reservations, reservations, reservations. I had a girlfriend visiting town this weekend and it was almost impossible to find a place to eat um, in advance. So if you have a special occasion coming up there's Father's Day um, graduations make sure that you are getting those reservations in because walk-ins are uh, definitely a thing of the past if you will um, and what's great about Yelp too is that you can make a reservation straight from your Yelp app for select businesses yeah I'm glad that you mentioned reservations talk about pent-up demand every everywhere seemingly has just been packed well that is all the time that we have this morning. Katie, thank you so much for joining us this morning.